Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2. This new product is an air-powered instrument designed to provide variable graft thickness. It has capabilities from 4 thousandths to 24 thousandths of an inch. The complete system consists of the handpiece with width plates and screwdriver, along with a sterilization case and hose. Individual graft widths of 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches and 4 inches are obtained with width plates. A one and a half inch width plate is available separately for purchase. A proprietary width plate locking mechanism aids in correct installation to keep the width plate and blade in the proper position during graft retrieval. The width plates are secured to the underside of the instrument with a stainless steel machine screw and a screwdriver is provided to secure the plates. Nitrogen is the preferred power source for the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2. It can be from a tank or wall connection. Medical grade compressed air can be used as an alternative if nitrogen is not available. To avoid serious injury to a patient and or staff, the surgeon must be thoroughly familiar with the function, application, and instructions for use of the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2. Handle the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2 carefully as it is a precision instrument. Dropping and bumping it against a surface may cause damage. Carefully inspect all the components, especially before each use. Pay particular attention to the underside of the dermatome where the blade oscillates. There should not be any burrs, nicks, gouges, or scratches. If noticeable damage does exist, return the instrument to Zimmer for repair. Always inspect the hoses for signs of wear or damage. Never use a worn or damaged hose. Under pressure, a severed or broken hose can whip out of control. Replace the hose immediately if it becomes worn or damaged. Only use the supplied air hose or one having a probe in compliance with BSI 5682 for high pressure medical air. If using nitrogen as the power source, it should be 99.97% pure nitrogen. For quality assurance, the nitrogen should be water pumped dry nitrogen or liquid nitrogen that is pumped dry. If using medical grade compressed air, the composition should be 21% oxygen and the balance should be nitrogen and inert gases. The moisture content should be 15 VPM maximum. Do not use standard compressed air with the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2. If using a pressurized tank, before placing it in the operating room, open the tank vial very slowly, allowing only enough gas to escape to blow out any debris that may have accumulated in the vial. Stay clear of the opening during this procedure, then return the vial to the closed position and install the regulator. Be sure the regulator is in the full off position, then slowly turn the tank vial until it is fully open. This will allow the gas to pressurize the regulator. Be sure the pressure gauge indicates more than 500 PSI. Do not begin a procedure if the gauge indicates less than 500 PSI. To connect the handpiece to the hose, firmly grasp both the hose and swizzle on the end of the handpiece. Push the hose and swizzle together and twist the hose to the right so the pins are in the indentation. Select the proper width plate as directed by the surgeon. Using the Zimmer screwdriver, loosen the width plate screw approximately two turns. Do not completely remove the screw from the handpiece. Ensure throttle is in safe position. Always use a new blade for each procedure. The blade key will mate with a notch in the handpiece when assembled correctly. The legacy Zimmer blades and competitive blades must not be used with the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2 and the Zimmer Air Dermatome 2 blades will not work in other Zimmer Dermatomes. Use extra caution when